Hello and welcome back. Uh, another short uh, video about an aspect uh, that um, appears to not work perfectly yet in FS 2020, although the next update is supposed to fix it. What I'm talking about is external connections. That means uh, software such as Little NavMap, Navigraph charts, um, Sim Toolkit Pro, and for me, most importantly, FSUI PC. There is a version 7 out in a beta uh, version at the moment, uh, which you can test. And uh, all these pieces of software, they are external programs, they connect to FS2020. Um, Go Flight Interface Tool, by the way, there is now a FS2020 version, and I'm going to quickly go through them and see what impact they do have. Um, for that, I'm running here the Cessna in uh, I do get currently I do get my 30 frames per second so I'm not going to change uh, the current setting I just want to see what impact it has because there is an issue and it can bring your frames down drastically uh, if you connect with an external program um, and it depends a little bit on what program and in what way you do connect um, so I, I start with little nav map I'm now starting little nav map um, and uh, I use the flight simulator connection direct connection to FSX or prepared because uh, FS2020 offers sim connect like the old ones and as you can see there is no problem because when I did it the first time I had um, substantial drops in frames um, when I turned the KE, the AI aircraft on. Now, um, I do not have AI because I turned all of that AI stuff off. So um, at the moment, there doesn't seem to be an impact. Uh, what I'm going to try now is I'm going to try and get um, AI turned on. Let me see where we would do that. Traffic, I suppose, um, aircraft traffic type AI offline of AI offline yeah and then we'll we'll produce some AI traffic just to see what will happen when I save this and then go back okay into the simulator well yeah there is there is a drop definitely and I can actually Oh, oh, yeah, 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 you can see that, that we're now dropping substantially. Um, let me see, you can see here, this is the AI traffic that it produces, and this is exactly what I'm talking about. Um, okay, at the moment we stay in and around the 20, but I have seen this coming down much further. Um, so as soon as you have some form of, of AI traffic being produced over the SIM Connect or whatever that interface is called now, um, you're in trouble because your frames drop visibly even on, on faster PCs and it is quite a substantial drop, um, like 50% or so. Um, I've seen also in other things. Now, um, when I go back to uh, tools and then I turn off the AI connectivity, you can see we're back in business. Um, well, actually, yeah, there it is. Here's my airplane. Um, and that's okay. So, with this setting and having the AI stuff turned off, it seems that whatever the problem is in the SIM Connect seems to be connected to the AI traffic. And uh, now I can use Little Nav Map as my tool, which is great. I turn it off, and uh, you can see there is no visible difference. The frames linger around 30, 29, something in, in that area. That is a good, uh, it's a good performance. The main thread doesn't show any, any lines here, so that is good. Well, not many lines, let's say, because each of these lines, when you see them, they're drops, <laughs> and you don't want to have drops, ideally. Okay, so that's that. And uh, now the next tool that I'm, that I'm urgently urgently waiting for and it's already available in the beta is the FSU IPC7 it is an external program 
Uh, I've just downloaded the latest version of it. Um, there has been updates yesterday, I think. So I'm starting FSU IPC and whoa! Yeah. That's what happens. That isn't fixed yet. And uh, what you can see is now this this is what the new FSU IPC for FS 2020 will look like. It's an external program. What you can do is you can go and create assignments. In this case, it's a profile specific assignment. I have already started to create TPMGA um, profile and I have all these, um, I have all these, see here's now the axis. Now I haven't saved the, the yet. The thing is um, when you go down here, I can see that there is a time, a strong time delay between when I pull on the yoke and when the yoke comes out here and the performance is down at the cellar. This is unusable, completely um, no go. The thing is that has worked until the release, until the official release. Uh, the beta versions of this connection was prop without problems uh, and everybody was kind of testing things. Uh, the same, by the way, happens with, with X-Pilot. Um, oh yeah, X-Pilot, that's another thing. Let's quickly check that we have the latest version. Yes, help me configure X-Pilot. Ah, so that has, has updated again. Yeah, download and the blue bell. Okay, no, I'm not going to set it up again. Uh, so X-Pilot... Um, has the same issue basically. It needs uh, it, it, it it basically drops uh, to an unsustainable level. Now, as soon as I turn FSU IPC off, ah, uh, hang on, it's not off. Uh, you, you need to actually go into the context menu down there, and you need to find FSU IPC. You need to right-click on it and then exit. You can't see that now. Ah, and as soon as I do that, we are back in our 30 frames as it was before. So FSU IPC is still unusable unfortunately. Um, so next would be the um, Navigraph Simlink. Let's have a look at that. So Navigraph Simlink is, is a software that connects to your simulators. Uh, in this case um, yeah, I updated it and it, I also updated whatever plugin is needed. And uh, the thing is, it uses Sim Connect, so it can actually connect, as far as I understand, it can connect to uh, FS2020. So I'm now starting the Navigraph. Uh -huh, we have already seen the drop now because the moment I. Oh no, hang on. Well, yeah, there is a drop. So let me see. Um, in Europe it's not automatically jumping but what you can see already is the moving map thingy uh, does actually work there it is yeah. so that is good and the performance is eh, it's only slightly so it uses yeah it eats up one or two frames although it depends uh, let me go into the simulator. Uh, there is a slight, a very slight drop, I think. So we have more of the pink than the green when it runs. But it's usable. So Navigraph Charts is usable. I can live with that. So let's kill Navigraph Desktop and also let's kill Navigraph Simlink. Where is it? There it is. Quit. And then let's check if we... Well, there isn't really that much of a difference. Yeah, sometimes I wonder how reliable or, or why this is fluctuating or not. So it looks like Navigraph Simlink is usable. You can get your position. I guess it's because it doesn't produce AI traffic. It does not ask for the AI traffic stuff therefore there is no uh, visible drop in uh, your okay so the next thing is something that I use and that's called 
GoFlight Interface Tool. Let me see. GoFlight Interface Tool is a software that uh, connects uh, my GoFlight hardware. I have these uh, old second-hand uh, GoFlight modules. Amongst uh, them is the is an MCP. So that that's what I can do is now I can say enable that device. I usually put the LED intensity down, and then I say default FSF. Okay. And then I can export this to the to store this um, this profile. Okay, so theoretically now, um, hopefully, I can change the heading. No, that doesn't look. It does not look as if this is working. Yeah. Well, anyway, the connection is there. I get, I get action. Oh, hang on. Just maybe took some time. I'm, I'm getting a display now of the heading. So I'm, I'm changing the heading to 289. And, uh, yeah. So I might have to to figure out how this works. Um, normally what happens is the default default FS uses default events. Possibly that doesn't work. So one of the things we can quickly, very quickly, uh, but I'm happy to see that at least here we don't have an issue, which means I can use the software. Um, but um, maybe that I have to do something here. So heading back ink. Huh. Let me see, what events uh, does it actually offer us here? Uh -huh. So this AP... Speed, AP... Heading, but there is no increase, decrease. AP, set. AP N1, ink. Uh, what we can do is you can look for strings. So let's let's look for that and see if we find something that concerns the heading and is not um, is not the one that is set because we have seen that it doesn't work. It might well be that this is not uh, finished yet. So prop pitch, enough radios, mixture, magnetic, heading back. Heading back increase. Yeah. Hmm. Ah well. Um, yeah. It's not there yet. It looks. Um, let I have these switches here, so let's enable them. And um, here I usually have the beacon. see if we can get at least something like the beacon switch, toggle beacon lights, okay. It's very limited what we can do. I'm not sure if the, the Lua scripting or some scripting is already available. Um, as I say, this is all quite new. Now let's see. I'm going to s switch the beacon and yes, it works. Um, here, see the, the beacon switch is actually moving. So that's um, that's not bad. Um, I'm pretty sure there's going to be updates uh, as well. But the good thing is I can use this software and I have to figure out how, how I get my switches and so on um, assigned. But um, I can use this software without a visible drop in frames. And that is good news. So let's stop this again. Right. Now Xpilot, we know that it still doesn't work properly. Um, so I'm not going to try it because I need, we would need to set it up now and download the balance library and all that. I do have all that. I don't really need it, but the setup program forces me to do that. So um, yeah, let's not go there. Let me quickly check. So what else could we could we f uh, try out? Um, yeah, pilot to ATC. Pilot to ATC. FS flight control. 
F as flight control. I already did uh, set up a profile for FS2020 and FS flight control. They all have kind of followed now and, and made some form of FS2020 integration. Uh, most of these tools have. So FS flight control is a not exactly cheap software that connects via SimConnect. Start it up, it takes a moment, it's loading in the database. And then I need to check if I am in the FS2020 mode. I think I am. Connecting, connected. Yeah, and uh, what we see is same problem, and that is due to the, I guess, due to the um, AI stuff. And even if I turn off. I stuff um, yeah we have a considerable drop um, let's see if I can do something here show grid user AI aircraft models user that's what the text it's supposed to show um, but I, I'm trying to turn this off completely ho hoping that um, Conditions, view, failures, statistics, network, FS flight control client, uh, close shutdown, hibernate, no, it's color, access, enable access, no, other. So, let's see if there's anything in around AI aircraft. This is also free side. Yeah, because at the moment that's, mm, yeah, that's, that's a no go afraid simulator third party motion conditions position yeah so it doesn't look I can set this here or maybe there is but there are so many options that maybe I'm overlooking something but as far as I know this usually is here in the in the map and here you can turn these things on or off but it appears as if the interface is loading them anyway so for the moment um, FS flight control is not usable and uh, I stopped it now didn't I ah so it takes a no. yeah I think it's back it takes always some time before it um, gets together. Okay. So what else? Sim Toolkit Pro. Yeah, Sim Toolkit Pro is. Uh, there has been updates. Why are we so low? Um, no, no. Let me quickly check if that we do not have anything else running. is no other thing connected because we definitely have lost frames I'm, I'm closing sim toolkit pro again uh -huh. okay I can already see that sim toolkit pro is having an impact yeah, it is a bit weird why do we have these fluctuations now I don't know it's, it's as if uh, Who knows? That's the thing with the new simulator. This is um, not exactly the way I would want it. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Yeah, I know what what it is. I have AI traffic running. Um, so let's turn that off again. I don't want that anymore. Traffic AI off. Save. Yeah. I and we're back okay okay so obviously AI traffic also has an impact inside the simulator so you should um, consider carefully especially if you're on a challenged environment where it's not um, let's say the highest settings are possible um, always think about what you really want to use and where you want to put your resources in okay now let's start sim toolkit pro again just in, uh, 
um, make sure that it isn't the one that causes the drops continue with local account I'm in there it has not yet connected you can s choose your simulator so I choose Microsoft connect it is now connected okay uh, we have a drop yes but it's um, it's okay the drop is okay it has yeah here here we are it can find us on the on the taxi chart yeah okay but it's it it has an impact as you can see but it's one that can be accepted it's it's not too bad i'm hoping that with the update of um, fs2020 that will in Okay, so anything else that I want to test? Let me see. Um, yeah, I guess that's uh, that's the main tools. That's the ones that I use. And um, so FS Global Real Weather. Uh, I don't really want to use weather tools like that. I'm also pretty sure that it wouldn't be able to connect, but we can try. Let's see, tools, settings, um, general. Oh yeah, this is the explained version. Okay, no, I can't use that anyway because I only have the um, the explained edition here. Good. Um, what about uh, Active Sky? Active Sky needs a. It's Active Sky XP. I don't have the prepared version here, so I can't use that one. So what about tools that use FSU IPC? Now we know that. FSU IPC is slow. I'm starting it anyway. And then I see if the one or the other tool, in theory at least, can connect. So we have it running. And one of the things I'm having now is OBS Studio. So I'm switching into live mode and I'm starting OB and not OBS, I'm Bini Overlay. Bini Overlay needs FSU IPC to produce the the status display okay so let me quickly check yes it shows us frames it shows us the heading where s270 I think that's correct yeah so apart from the drop in the in the frames I can actually use um, I can use uh, the the layout yeah that's fine but as long as we have bad um, bad performance like this I'm not going to not going to use this for a recording because obviously that wouldn't make sense at the moment um, let me see there's another tool that uses FSU IPC I think it's um, it's radar contact a meanwhile free radar ATC simulator let me see oh look at that at least it starts that's interesting um, okay forget the performance at the moment let me quickly RC4 is ready um, nah. What I wonder though is if we get the keys. I don't think we get the keys sent. Yeah. It doesn't look like it can see the keys. Keyboard, let's quickly check. It's Control, Shift, and 1. I'm going to try that out. Let me see. Shift, Control, 1. Oh! Okay. Um yeah it, it it doesn't display the menu so I have to try and figure out shift control 2 maybe standby Heck. 
Echo, Delta, November, Yankee, local ATIS information, Lima, winds calm, visibility, zero, meters, sky clear, temperature, zero, dew point, zero, QNH, zero, 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 landing and departing, runway, zero, six. Nice. Now the problem is uh, the menu that you normally need for radar contact is not displayed. So, and the, all the keys that I have programmed at the moment have FS2020 things. You can see the views changing now. But principally, when FSUIPC hopefully maybe is able to produce this this uh, the text output again. Um, I hope that will work. Um, we would be able to use some like radar contact. I'm, I'm quitting it now. That's not bad. Let's let's hope. Let's hope that that works. Would be great. Okay, I think that's enough. Uh, we have seen that at the moment we do have little nav map that works perfectly. We can use uh, Navigraph Simlink without too much uh, loss. Um, I think it worked too good as well and uh, yeah and that's about it at the moment these two do work um, sim toolkit pro is okay it has only a, a slight loss it's also okay so sim toolkit pro navigraph sim link and um, and uh, sim tool uh, and little enough map so that's the three ones that I'm able to use for for running the simulator and that's that's fine yeah right that's it uh, I think enough uh, experimentations here you can see it, it gets there it takes time I'm waiting now for the next update which is supposed to come out next week somewhere between the 31st of August and the 6th of September we're going to see an update and uh, it says that the SimConnect issues are no more at least that's some, something in that form they have said <laughs> so I hope they have fixed it and uh, that means we can start using our old tools at least most of them uh, again okay that's it thanks very much until next time